Hello classy people, Saturday morning, having coffee with the Speed King. We're here to take a look at the La Cienega Stakes Grade 3, I believe, at Santa Anita on Sunday. It's a field of eight, four-year-olds and upwards fillies down the hill for 100000 But before we do, we have a new subscriber from Australia. I didn't know we reached that far. Mr. B. Gardner, thank you so much. Um, for reaching out and talking about the flight line race and you're now our ambassador for Australia. I actually watch uh, races from Australia at night from Rose Hill so you're gonna have to help us out there help the community out Mr. B. Gardner. Thanks so much for subscribing. Australia's in the house y'all. I like it right? I like it a bunch. B. Gardner. Thanks so much for that from down under Australia. Rose Hill is my spot. I don't have no data. I don't know what to do over there. Gonna need you, Mr. Gardner. Right? Be sitting here handicapping at night and, you know, Rose Hill be on TVG and I mute TVG and I look at the horses, right? You know? Yeah. Well, La Cienega. Phil the bee, you know, fillies uh, and mares. Well, the number one horse. Tap water. Well, we know about the tap horse. Simmer down, Speed King. It's too early to be jumping around. Well, tap water. Uh, 15 starts, 3 wins. That's good. Uh, 3 seconds and 3 thirds. Uh, oh, Papa Mandela is our trainer of record. Horse is only 5 to 1 on the morning line. The horse is by tap it, obviously. Uh, being tap water, the number one horse. Speed figures are not horrible. I mean, two back on the 20th of October, ran in an allowance race uh, to Mucho Unusual, ran second to a nose by, by um, uh, to Mucho Unusual. It is Papa Mandela. We do have Jersey Joe Bravo in the odds. And the horse is coming off of a 28-day freshening, which is off the synthetic on the 12th of December. I don't particularly like tap water on top here. But I would surely not use this horse. I would surely use him in Exactus and Trot underneath. Well, here's my prayer. Well, here's the horse that you all probably have to beat. The number two horse here, my prayers, has 11 starts, 5 wins in 3 seconds. Seren is our trainer of record out there in Santa Anita. And he's red hot. And uh, so is Juan Hernandez. That combination is usually is clicking at about 24-26% rate. And the number two here, my prayers by the big, uh, the big uh, beast, is a very, very, very nice five-year-old mare. It's coming off of a, a race on November 5th, a stake race at Del Mar, which was the Senator Ken uh, Maddie Stakes, ran third to A.G. Indy. And two back uh, ran behind um, a wonder race, actually, uh, beaten bulletproof in an allowance race. The speed figures on Hear My Prayers are very, very nice. I love the name, obviously, and the record is beautiful. Five wins for 11 starts. So the number two, two to one on the line, and, and I think that's right. I think that's, you know, about the fair odds for that horse. The number two is going to be very, very hard here to beat. And probably going to be my uh, first or second choice in here for sure. Because Seneca, well, the number three horse. I like this horse. I like the value on the number three, because Seneca. 16 starts, four wins, two seconds, and three thirds. John Sadler, there's that man again, Mama. Riskily is in the arms. And because Seneca comes out of the November 6th race behind going global and uh, uh, Zofi and uh, Princess Grace uh, ran six by six, but that's a graded race. That's the Cadiva race, right? Yeah, that's a grade two race. So the race that Cacentica, uh exits on November 6th is a G race, you know, it's a graded race, and that's an awfully, awfully good race, as well as an awfully nice speed figure. And two back comes out of the Lady Sprint Stakes race, which is grade three at Kentucky Downs, where you take your life in your own hands on the grass, and ran fifth behind In Good Spirits and Catch a Bid. 
So, you know, the horse is returning off of a 64-day layoff. I love that. The horses by Munnings, I love that. The trainer is John Sadler, I love that. Respley's in the arms, I love that. And the horse is five to one, and I love that. I really like the number three horse, and I think I just made the decision. I'm going to make uh, Casintica our top pick, the number three in here at five to one, for sure. I like that. Number four, Quiet Secretary. Well, she has 18 starts, four wins, two seconds, and one third. You know, Cool Jack is our trainer of record. Mr. Tyler Bays is doing the services in the saddle. And, of course, this horse looks a little bit overmatched at 15 to 1. You know, coming out of an allowance race, does have some stake experience back there. Tap water beat him on October 20th handily. You know, but uh, the number four, uh, Quiet Secretary, will make some noise early because she's pretty speedy. She is by hard spun and... Um, you know, I don't know if she could beat these, but again, you can always make an excuse to use a horse that's 15 to 1 underneath. I don't like Quiet Secretary here. We're going to go ahead and throw her directly off the ticket. The number five, Beautiful Gift. Well, Beautiful Gift is a four-year-old by Medaglia Dora. You can't knock the breeding, and she's very, very lightly raced the number five, Beautiful Gift. She only has five stars, two wins, one second, and one third. Now there's nothing about wrong with that. She just seems a little light in the boot, and here's the injury to insult. She's coming off of a 240-day layoff. She doesn't look like she's ever run on the grass uh, to me, and she hasn't. She's trained by Bob Baffert, and uh, Van Dyke is in the arms, okay? Uh, Drayden Van Dyke. So, it's Bob Baffert, Va uh, Drayden Van Dyke, 240 layoff on Beautiful Gift, it's not Flavian Pratt or John Velasquez, so we really have to believe that the number five is not well meant here, right? I mean, anytime Bob Baffert is a uh, great guns with a horse, is either uh, Johnny V or Pratt, right? So I don't like the number five here, uh, uh, beautiful gift. I mean, she's coming off a huge break, and it's Baffert trying to turf. This is a grade three. Van Dyke's up. Let's throw the five, beautiful gift, with Bob Baffert off the ticket. Uh, Genica. Genica uh, is a very, very nice horse. Number six, Genica. Uh, nine starts, one win. That's a problem, right? This horse has nine starts with one win. I mean, a very, very nice horse. Here's the knock on this quality road horse. One, bred like all get out. Trained by Bob Baffert. Mikey Smith is up, which I believe is his third or fourth choice now as a rider. And here's another horse that's just has never been on the, on the, on the grass. So again, you know, the horse has some experience on the dirt. Speed figures are light on the dirt. Uh, the horse breeding is beautiful. Uh, coming back off of a 51-day layoff. So both of Bob Baffert's horses in here don't have any of the riders that he typically rides. He rides Mike Smith. i got to give him that. But the horses are not uh, uh, turf horses. They just don't look right here. Uh, you know, typical Bob Baffert's horses. So we're going to throw the number six horse off the ticket, and both of Bob Baffert's horses, we just do not like the five and the six in this spot at all. Zero tolerance. Well, that's what I'm doing here. I have no zero tolerance for Bob Baffert horses in this race, right? I threw both of them out. <laughs> that should get the fans on their feet. Zero tolerance, the number seven horse. I mean, what are you going to say about this four-year-old filly? The number seven, Zero Tolerance, has five starts. A bite in the boot on experience, but she has three wins and one second. You know, Alvarado is our trainer of record, of course. You know, he's the assistant to Pete Miller, who is on hiatus. And uh, the horses by Miz and Mass, uh, Zero Tolerance, the number seven. And there's Flavian Pratt. I knew he would show his face in a graded race. Well, the horse is five to two. What else is new? Graded race, stake race, flat, uh, Pratt, five to two. And I guess that's okay. I mean, the horse uh, exited an allowance race on November 20th at Del Mar. Uh, was previously trained by Miller, but this is his assistant. Uh, speed figures are okay. The horse is coming off of a win and coming off of a 50-day tightener. So, I mean, I'm not mad at you. I don't like the fact that she's outside uh, in the seven hole, but it is a sprint, so she has enough speed to get out and save some ground the first, you know, 100 yards or so. So, I'm not mad at you if you like zero tolerance. It would be my third pick in here. I'm not, she has every right to win. 
Um, I'm not picking her on top. I think she's my third choice here, the number seven, zero tolerance. And the last horse in the race, okay, uh, go for Kitten, obviously by Kitten's Joy. Six starts, four wins. Wow. The number eight horse, go for Kitten, six starts, four wins. You can't knock that, can you? And two-thirds. So this horse has never, ever not hit the board. And of course, it's by Kitten's Joy. What else? Should... And there's that man, Mama, John Sadler. Well, Mr. Sadler has two of them in here, right? He has the number two horse, I, I mean the number three horse, Casenta, who I like, right? At five to one. And he got the bottom horse at eight to one. Uh, go for Kitten. Speed figures are okay on this horse. Again, she's far outside. She should be sitting fourth or fifth in the Catbird. Uh, have Johnny V up, and I wouldn't be mad at you. The horse is going to take money because Johnny V is up. Because him and Pratt has won over 48% of all the races out there since the meet started on the 26th of December. But the bottom horse, Gold for Kitten, John Sarler, this horse has never done nothing wrong. One, four, or six. Okay? I don't particularly like her on top. Uh, but you can't say that she can't run. The knock I have on her, she might be a little light in experience against some of these other horses who's been around the race course and the grass a bunch. So, there's your field in the La Seneca Stakes, seventh race on Sunday, grade three at Santa Anita, down the hill, six and a half. Who do I like? I'm going to take John Sadler's horse, Casenta, uh, Casentica, uh, the number three horse, Costanza. Uh, the number three. I like this horse. It's five to one. Square price. I got restfully up. I got Sadler. I like the number three. And my second pick is going to be uh, the number two horse here is my prayer. So it's going to be three, two, two, three for Russ, and I'm not even going to pick a third horse. If I had to, it would probably be the number seven with Prada, zero tolerance, okay? But I like three, two, two, three here for my life, all right? As always, down in the description, folks, please see our disclaimer, and most of all, turn on your closed capture, and as always, support your Speed King any and each way that you can by buying us a coffee, buying t-shirt, our tip sheets, our email address is speedking24 at yahoo.com. As always, thanks to Mr. B. Gardner out there in Australia. Hey, we reach it nationally. Yeah, that's really awesome. I mean, that's just awesome. So, Mr. Gardner, thanks a bunch. Y'all stay classy Saturday morning. Hope you have a great weekend. Talk to you shortly.